How do I pack a pit for FRC? In FRC, a pit is a 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot area that your team is given at an event to charge your batteries and work on your robot. When packing for an event, you want to keep in mind that all your robot tools, spare parts, anything you'll need while working on or near your robot is going to have to stay in this 10 foot by 10 foot area. If you've never been to an event before, it's a good idea to set up this space in your own shop and plan what you're going to bring. You're going to want to optimize what you bring so you only have the essentials and you can move around freely in your pit while still being able to work on your robot and access everything you've brought quickly and easily. Keep in mind that everything you bring will have to fit in the vehicle you're bringing it in as well as likely fit through a standard doorway. You'll see all sorts of setups in the pit area from a box of random parts and the pre-provided table to teams rolling in entire road cases with pre-built structure inside. AndyMark provides a nice middle ground between these options with our robot parts cart. This is the AndyMark robot parts cart. My team Cybertooth has been prototyping a version of this for the last couple years and we find it really helpful in the pit. It provides a moderately sized worktop as well as eight shelves that can be configured with either bins or battery charging and storage. We find the cart really optimizes the space usage by densely packing all of these small parts in one area that's easy to move around. You can see each tote pulls out at a slight angle and can organize many different items all in one small box. Here's what the boxes look like when they arrive to you, but we provide a 3D printable file to make custom inserts so you can label your drawers as we've done here. The cart is supported by four heavy duty casters that can move in any direction, two of which will lock to keep the cart from rolling away from you while you're working on it. Your cart will come with eight of these totes as well as three shelves for up to six batteries. You can choose to configure this however you would like. You can also bolt chargers onto the side to charge as many batteries as you can fit on the cart. Cybertooth typically takes three to four of these to our events. They hold all of our spare parts as well as our batteries. They easily fit through a door and we've managed to fit up to three in a Prius, so they're pretty easy to travel with. Now let's talk about all the specific things you'll need to bring. The most obvious thing you'll need to bring to your event is your robot. Don't forget your robot. You'll also want a cart to push your robot around the event. The pit and the field may be quite far apart, so you'll need to roll your robot back and forth between every match. You'll also want to bring your robot's driver station. We did a whole video about what to bring on the driver station. Go check it out. You'll also want to bring enough batteries so that your robot has a charged battery ready for every match, including eliminations. We recommend at least six batteries at an event. You'll also want a way to charge those batteries. You'll want to bring a storage solution for everything that you're bringing to an event, as well as a flat work surface. In that storage solution, you'll want to include your tools, your hardware, your spare parts, and your raw materials. For tools, you'll want to bring pretty much every hand tool you use to assemble the robot. You may need it later. You'll also want to bring some larger tools, a few common examples are a bench vise, a vacuum, a hand drill, and I find a portable bandsaw can be really helpful in a pinch. You'll want to bring spares of basically every size of hardware that you use to assemble your robot, such as 1032 screws, rivets, and zip ties. It's helpful to standardize on as few types of screws as possible to keep this hardware count down. You'll also want to bring spare parts for what you've broken before and what you think might break at a competition. There are pretty much two kinds of spare parts. The off-the-shelf kind, such as spare gearboxes, electronics, and motors. Custom spares include anything your team has made from scratch, such as a box tube with holes drilled in specific spots, a bracket for a very specific component, or even spare subsystems like a spare intake or a spare swerve module. You'll also want to bring some raw materials for when the unexpected happens. 
You may find that a bracket you designed out of plastic really needs to be made out of metal at the competition, so you may have to fabricate that bracket from scratch with your raw materials. My team also likes to bring some spare parts to help out our partners. For example, we don't use any 25 chain on the robot this year, but we'll still have a box of it in our pit. An FRC pit is also your team's place at the event to express themselves. You can hang up banners, give out buttons, have documentation, really turn the pit into your own space for that event. You won't get your packing list perfect the first time. So if you forget anything at your first event, write it down and make sure you bring it to your next event. And that's how you pack a pit for FRC.